Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2002 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is second two more question came in 2002 GATE. Consider the following statements in connection with CMOS inverter as shown. Where both the MOSFETs are enhancement type and both have a threshold voltage of 2 volts. Statement 1. T1 conducts when VA is greater than or equal to 2 volts. Statement 2. T1 is always in saturation when V0 is equal to 0 volts. Which of the following is correct? A. Only statement 1 is true. B. Only statement 2 is true. C. Both the statements are true. D. Both the statements are false. The right option for the given question is only statement 1 is true that is T1 conducts when V input is greater than or equal to 2 volts. We will see the details now. This is a given CMOS inverter where T1 is NMOS transistor and T2 is PMOS transistor. For both the things we are applying the same input signal and given both are enhancement type MOSFETs with threshold voltage of 2 volts. We know that one threshold voltage is positive for NMOS N channel whereas threshold voltage is negative for P channel. So we can write in this way VTN is nothing but modulus of VTP is equal to 2 volts. So and from this threshold voltage we can say NMOS will be on when VGS is going to be greater than or equal to 2 volts. So this is enhancement type threshold voltage implies nothing but the minimum gate to source voltage required to keep to enhance a channel between drain and source so that a drain current flows whenever VDS is applied that is the definition of threshold voltage so if you apply more than threshold voltage then only transistor comes into on condition so N mass is on that is N mass conducts when VGS is going to be greater than or equal to 2 volts P mass is on that is P mass conducts when VSG is going to be greater than or equal to 2 volts this we can say in other words VGSP is going to be modulus of VGSP should be greater than or equal to 2 volts first statement we will consider now statement 1 is T1 conducts when VI is greater than or equal to 2 volts VI is nothing but input voltage which is applying to both gates of T1 as well as T2. We have to consider VGS value for NMOS, VSG value for PMOS and we have to check the condition whether they are going to be on or off. First, whenever V input is greater than 2 volts then for NMOS transistor VGSN can be written as VGN minus VSN. VGN is nothing but gate of N mass transistor that is nothing but V input. VS of N is nothing but source of N mass that is grounded. So it is stated as 0. That is equal to V input greater than or equal to 2 volts. So VGSN is nothing but V input for N mass that is going to be greater than 2 volts. So definitely N mass is going to be conducting. Next VSGP that is VSG for P mass. VSG for P mass can be calculated like this VSP minus VGP VSP is nothing but source voltage of P mass source voltage of P mass this is source for P mass source will be at higher potential than drain remember that one for N mass drain will be at higher potential than source so this is source so VSP source of P mass is connected at 5 volts so we are writing it as 5 minus gate of P mass is going with V input. Phi minus V input. Since V input is greater than 2 volts at that time, okay, VSGP is going to be less than 3 volts or at most it is 3 volts because V input is starting from 2 volts it is increasing so that the overall value is going to be at most it is equal to 3 volts or it will be less than that value. So, P mass is going to be conducting conditionally. What is that condition means? 
P mass conducts when V input is in between 2 to 3 volts. By that time Vsgp is going to be greater than or equal to 2 volts. So that P mass also conducts. For V input greater than 2 volts for the given diagram N mass conducts at any point but P mass is conditionally conducting. So statement 1 says T1 conducts when V input is greater than 2 volts. So it is right. So statement 1 is true. Whatever the input voltage if you apply, if it, if it is going to be equal to 2 volts or greater than that one, N mass always conducts whereas P mass conditionally conducts. Statement 1 is not going to be said anything about the P mass. So statement 1 is always true. Next statement 2. T1 is always in saturation when V0 is equal to 0 volts. T1 is nothing but N mass. N mass is always in saturation when V0 is equal to 0 volts. Is that right or wrong? Now we will see. For C mass inverter, V0 is equal to 0 volts. The meaning of that one is nothing but P mass is off and N mass is on. N mass is on and P mass is off so that no current flows this point is going to be N mass is on so that it is shorted to ground V0 will be connected to 0 volts. So for C mass inverter V0 is equal to 0 implies nothing but N mass is going to be in on condition and P mass will be in the off condition which is only possible when V input is greater than or equal to 3 volts. So if the input voltage is greater than 3 volts then only the T1 comes into on condition and T2 will go into the off condition. If you are applying less than 3 volts and greater than 2 volts both transistors are in on condition as we have seen previous case. So when V input is greater than or equal to 3 volts by that time that V0 is going to be 0 volts. Now we will see the condition for saturation region of N mass that is T1 transistor. For N mass that is T1 transistor condition for saturation region is drain voltage should be greater than or equal to effective gate voltage. So Vd1 should be greater than or equal to Vg1 minus Vt1. Vd1 is nothing but drain of T1 transistor that is nothing but V0 that is equal to 0 volts given. So that Vd1 is given as 0 volts should be greater than or equal to Vg1. Vg1 is nothing but gate of T1 transistor that is connected at V input. So V input minus Vt1 is nothing but 2 volts. So Vg1 is nothing but V input. V input is always greater than 3 volts to get V0 is equal to 0. So 3 minus 2 of minimum worst case is nothing but V input can be taken as 3 volts. By that time 3 minus 2 is 1 but 1 is not less than 0. So the condition fails. Condition for saturation region fails so that T1 transistor will not be in saturation. It will be in linear or triode region. So that the statement 2 is false. So the right option for the given question is only statement 1 is true. Option is A. Thank you.